here we are at 188 Canning Highway in South Perth and we're looking at the original portable sunworm farm garden system which was made from a portable wooden frame barbecue, an old bath and some timber we found on the side of the road and an insulated top that was also salvaged waste and you can see underneath there's a container for collecting the leachate that comes out of there worm juice and if I pull back the lid you can see it's loaded up with some lawn clippings plus underneath that there's also some worms and this is ready to be used again as a worm farm and we use it as you'll see to produce the castings with the worms in them to load up our worm farm garden systems so you can see them in the background four baths using the same principle just a little more sophisticated the support structure is a pergola that's designed using these grapes to shade the northeast side of the house and um, this is all built from salvage material that's been finished off with um, some quality outdoor paint from supplied by Bunnings. So these on the top here you can see worm castings that have come from the worm farm I just showed you and I put these castings on full of worms not that long ago about 10 or 15 minutes ago and you can see the worms have already gone down into the bath to chew on the organic matter that lies underneath the um, worm castings on the top. So this system has four such baths and we're going to run these as worm farm gardens. So they won't have a roof on them like the one I just showed you, they'll be open. Once the plants are up, um, given it's summer, um, I want to shade the seedlings. We'll be using seed that we've collected from our own gardens during the last growing time. And um, a lot of that produce will be going to probably food bank, maybe South Care, or sometimes St. Pat's in Frio. And the system's really easy. The um, frame here, right there, supports the baths, obviously, and it's plastic lined from where I just pointed up to about here. And we have a tap here for putting water into the system and it comes in here and raises the water level in each bath up to, I don't know, about that high. It varies a little with each bath because they're different depths. And that is my adaptation of a wicking bed system. We don't leave the water in there for very long because we don't want to drown our workers, the worms and microbes. So we turn on this tap here and we can use the water for irrigation in our gardens and orchards. The um, 
the liquid of course starts off like a weed tea because it's running through predominantly through lawn clippings and other organic waste organic resource I should say and once the conversion process happens the um, liquid is more like pure worm juice one of the reasons we don't need a roof on top of here as we've got on the other system is because we'll be planting really densely on this system and um, that encourages the microbiological action around the plant root systems, but it also means that the garden is shaded once the plants get up to a reasonable height, you know, a few inches. And of course, being at waist height, there's no bending over. It's suitable for disabled people the elderly like me I'm 66 and um, even people in wheelchairs so anybody can use it and it's designed to minimize the effort in growing food there's a bit of effort involved in you know making a system like this but it's quite cheap the, um, all these materials have cost nothing except for the paint and the tech screws and the mesh. The mesh I paid for, the paint and tech screws etc were donated by Bunnings. Thank you very much Bunnings. Bunnings store in East Vic Park and um, that lets you know how the sunworm farm garden systems work. Have a look, think about it, see what's available in your local community, build one yourself, reduce green and food waste going to landfill, and you might even want to give some food to charity organisations such as Food Bank. Have a great day.